Google Pixel 9 Pro with Magic Editor. Now you can reimagine any photo. Go ahead, the sky's the limit. Okay, I guess not even the sky is the limit. Check out the link in the video description to buy your Google Pixel 9 Pro with Gemini on Amazon today. Welcome back to Celeb Central. Today we're diving into the glitzy world of the Cannes Film Festival to uncover the 10 most surprising Palme d'Or winners, ranked. Established after World War II, the Cannes Film Festival is one of the most prestigious events in international cinema, with the Palme d'Or being its highest honor, equivalent to the Oscar's Best Picture. While it may not have the same name recognition as the Oscars, its significance in the film industry is unparalleled. Throughout its history, Cannes has seen a variety of films take home the coveted Palm d'Or, but some winners have left audiences truly shocked. From unconventional genres to unexpected themes, let's explore the films that defied the odds and brought home the top prize. First up, we have Way Cross Firing, starring Robert Young, Robert Mitchum, and Robert Ryan. This film noir awarded the best social film back in 1947, tackled heavy themes of anti-Semitism in a compelling way that was rare for its time, making its recognition at Cannes all the more surprising. Then there's I, Marty, a simple, heartfelt film that surprisingly clinched both the Palme d'Or and Best Picture at the Oscars. Its straightforward narrative and relatable characters stand in stark contrast to the more complex offerings that usually dominate the festival. I, the film and odds. Often recognized as a comedy series, began its journey as a film that blended humor with the horrors of war. Its candid take on the Korean War resonated deeply with audiences, echoing the anti-war sentiments of its era tarnal. Day, sex, lies, and videotapy emerged as a game-changer, catapulting Steven Soderbergh to fame at just 26. Its raw take on relationships and infidelity reshaped the independent film scene, surprising many when it took home the Palme d'Or. Michael Moore's G. Fahrenheit 9-11 stands out for being one of the few documentaries to win the prestigious accolade. Its hard-hitting critique of the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks ignited conversations worldwide, making its win particularly contentious. David Lynch's Wild at Heart also shocked audiences as it took home the Palme d'Or. Known for his surreal storytelling, Lynch's off-kilter romance starring Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern was unexpected in a festival often leaning towards the poignant and serious. Similarly, I.K. Angle of Sadness put a comedic spin on class struggles, winning over audiences despite its somewhat simplistic portrayal of affluence and villainy, proving to be a hit among Cannes voters. Next is the animated classic Dumbo, surprisingly recognized years after its original release. Winning the Grand Prix for Best Animation Design, this Disney classic showcased the festival's early unconventional spirit. Dot. Taxi Driver, a raw character study by Martin Scorsese, shocked many as it became a Palmer winner in the late 70s. With its visceral portrayal of alienation, its win feels more startling considering how widely it's recognized today. Finally, we have Quentin Tarantino's iconic Pulp Fiction. This groundbreaking film went on to reshape modern cinema and, upon winning the Palme d'Or, proved that Cannes was ready to embrace audacity and innovation in storytelling. These films remind us that at Cannes anything is possible, and the unexpected can often take center stage. Thank you for joining us as we explored these surprising Palme d'Or winners. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more intriguing content from Celeb Central.